Hey there, it's David T. Fung, and we're back for another FSD version 12.5.6.3, waiting for the highly anticipated version 13.2 that many of our Tesla community has been posting so far. I can't wait. But here we're gonna do a auto summon here. We're gonna go walk across the parking lot, just test it out, get the feeling for everyone here. Let's go. Be right back. Here we go. We're gonna load the app. Go to the furthest edge we could go. Let's get this feeling. We're in an empty parking lot. There was people here earlier. Wanted to see if people reacted, but let's go. Car lights are on. Blinker is on to make a right. And here we go. Right next to another 2024 Tesla Model 3. Navigates out of this parking lot. Now it's making a right. Taking its time, looking around, turning on its left blinker, and it goes smooth, smooth, and smooth. Looks like it's going about five or 10 miles per hour. We're gonna move our location a bit, so let's see if it follows all the way down to, and it does. Turns on its left blinker to make that turn. We're gonna walk down a bit more here. It's like a car is following us. What is this? What is this car following us here? We'll stand right in front of it. Oh, looks like it's, oh, is it gonna reverse? Nope. It is parked there. Let's see if it could come to me over here. Will it reverse? Let me go over here. I actually didn't want it to go to that corner. Well, let's see if it'll move over here. Now that we'll move a distance. So it is reversing. It is reversing. Gosh, reverse is back. Should make a left turn here. Blinker is on. Checks its spot. And it should be making another left turn here as it puts the blinker on. There we had it. I've never tried it on a reverse and it did it. Did it safe and sound and we're here. Let's see if it'll keep falling a bit. This is funny. Cars is following me here. And there we have it. The summon feature burst out of the situation where I did not want that situation. We get an applause there for completing this. And here we go. Let's continue with the commentary play by play as we uh, drive. Success and smooth on that. Let's uh, put in a destination I navigate to here. We're in Palm Springs, California right now. There's a travel center right after you see the uh, Palm Springs sign as you enter on Highway 111. It's actually the welcome center, not the travel center, so. Let's navigate through that for FSD. We'll have to uh, get things going here with the brake. Got to press the pedal, but here we go. Continuing on this commentary of FSD version 12.5.6.3 as we anticipate version 13 being mass released to everyone else in the community here but we just wanted to try that part out as we uh, 
get ready for the full journey of the one touch experience for FSD. But we're in beautiful, sunny Palm Springs, California. It is late fall, first day of December here. Beautiful day. We just had a couple of Teslas charging next to us as well. Fellow cousin, family member, 2024 refresh Model 3. Earlier there was an older version of a Model 3, couple Model Ys with us as well. But here we go. Making a right here out of this parking lot center. Car creeps up. Oh sees that car and it stops proceeds forward here that was an interesting situation there and here we go into the left lane as we wait for the left turn light we're here today visiting palm springs california now we have a protected left turn light here, visiting Palm Springs, California. Sunny, beautiful season to be in this area. Not hot, not so cold. The season known for snowbirds coming to this region throughout Canada, Europe, and other parts of the United States. FSC slows down for this yellow light here. Highly recommend visiting this area during the fall winter season if you want to escape from the snow. And here we go with green light. There is something quite magical about this region. Not just because there are hot springs and a lot of history here. Quite an interesting area too. Pong Springs located in the Coachella Valley within the Riverside County. Along the 10 freeway that runs west and east is actually the San Andreas Fault. The fault line which where the two plates of the Pacific Plate on the west side and a North American plate meets to create that fault line that runs from the Bay Area of San Francisco all the way through the Strait of Baja, California. So it's a quite interesting area to live in. Beautiful mountains. It's quite a sandbox, as I would call it, growing up in this area. You have the various mountains around it, the Santa Rosa Mountain, the San Jacinto Mountains, the different valleys and hot springs that are around. Very pleasant place. I think that's why I appreciate consistent weather. Palm Springs is known as one of those cities where it has the most sun out of any city, at least in the United States. I, I don't quote me on the world part, but the United States, it gets the most sun throughout the year. I, I think the number is 180 plus days of sun throughout the year. I mean, we're in fall right now, but the summers are grueling, but I, I, I enjoy that heat, that, that sun energy, and it's powerful. Speaking of sun energy, isn't it amazing of, with all the solar technology we have these days? I just had a, a solar panel charger, I think it was about 22 watts of charging for my various mobile devices today. It was just out in the sun and charging. Which makes me curious, 
Tesla team, if you're listening, watching, what would a design of a solar panel on the sunroof be like? I would prefer that option than an open uh, sunroof view to the sky just to get some additional charge. On that note, a couple weeks ago, I did find and order the Ghost Sun EV solar panel charger. Basically, I'm gonna need to add roof racks to my Tesla Model 3, but it's, it's like a little compartment box on top of the roof rack. In it, it'll be housed the solar panels in which you can unfold and charge your car. It'll go with you wherever you go. Basically harnessing kilowatts from the sun. As we approach the stoplight here, we are red. The car does creep up. See if it's clear or not, and it goes. right ahead we'll make a left on Rosa Parks Road and we do have protected left turn light but it just turns yellow so FSD slows down and stops actually there's a different address location I wanted to go to oh it's interesting it's routing me that way it didn't cut through the other main road here, but now we have a protected left light here. We make a left and it proceeds forward. Right in front of us here, we're facing north, is the San Jacinto Mountain. One of the tallest mountains in the 48 intercontinental states was just over 10,000 feet. A lot of people go hiking. It's well known because there is this famous gondola of the Palm Springs Aerial Tramway. Quite an experience there with snow throughout the summer. Great hiking trails as well. People have hiked a lot from this side of Palm Springs all the way to Iowald, which is another mountain town on the other side of this mountain. Had various friends that have done that journey. Definitely need to pack a lot of water and gear. Gosh, what a beautiful, clear skies with beautiful clouds here. And we're making a left here at this all way stop sign. Sees that it is clear to go. And we'll make a right here. This two way stop sign here. What a gorgeous mountain. Mountains are faithful and beautiful. Everlasting until the end. And here we have it approaching a stoplight here. We'll make a left. Light ahead is red. So FSC should be stopping and it does. Look at that grand landscape in front of us. 
I purposely angled that camera so you could see the section of the, the sunroof and what is in front of us and it's quite a, a view on this beautiful, beautiful day in Palm Springs, California. And here we have it, a protected left turn, light is green. And the Palm Springs Visitor Center is to our right, so FSD will make a right lane change. And there's the Palm Springs welcome sign. Up ahead, looks like we'll be yielding on the left side. There we have it, City of Palm Springs Visitor Center. FSD will pull up here. Let's see if it pulls into the parking lot or not. And it does. We'll take over at this point here to disengage as we're still on version. Woo, we're close to the road there. As we're still on version 12.5.6.3, waiting for the highly anticipated FSD version 13. So we go from A to B, part to point B parking there. But with that, we tested out the auto summon feature, got into the car, put in the destination of where we wanna go, used FSD, had to disengage at the end there to stop FSD from wanting the route on this map location here. As you can see, without version 13 yet it's gonna do another loop around so I wanted to take control over there but with that for the general ride no interventions needed just when we got back in our car for the auto summon we just had to punch in the destination apply the brake and press on the drive pedal to get going but with that smooth ride Beautiful day here in Palm Springs, California. Just look at that view, the Mount San Jacinto with the tramway up top. We have people coming down for a long day of enjoying that area. People going up for the sunset. And there we have it. That's FSD version 12.5.6.3. Soon and waiting for the highly anticipated version 13. But until then, Keep going and stay heartful.